Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Well, they are rich, single, and looking for a good time. A new website caters to older men offering younger women a taste of the good life. They call themselves sugar daddies, but are these simply modern relationships or something else? ABC's Alex Perez has one couple's story. On the surface, they look like a typical May-December relationship. We're going to do a little shopping today. Meet 63-year-old Tommy and 21-year-old Monty. They've been together for two years. Thank you for them. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. But their relationship can better be described as an arrangement. They're an established sugar daddy and sugar baby. Can we kiss? No. Monty is one of Tommy's seven sugar babies. He met many of them on SeekingArrangement.com, a website where wealthy men are paired with young women looking for financial help. An offer a struggling college student like Monty, whom he met at a beach party, says she couldn't turn down. He's like, I can help you get through school easy. And you just travel with me, have fun, be around me, and just keep me company. And I said, sure, are you going to pay for my school? Tommy, a retired IT executive who's been divorced three times, says the arrangement comes with the intimacy of a marriage, is cheaper, and a small price to pay for what he gets. When you walk into a room and you have a beautiful woman with you, it's, it's a compliment to you as a male. It's like pulling up in a really nice car or something, you know? I hate to compare that way, but it is. So Monty's like a really nice car. Yeah, and when, and when we go in the restaurant, it's over here. How is this different than prostitution? But if we're talking about exchange for money for sex, I don't see that this way. It's just not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The courts have decreed that as long as a woman is being paid for services besides sex, such as companionship, the act does not classify as prostitution, an argument the website owner also makes. If the sugar daddy is in fact meeting a girl um, simply for sex in exchange for money, then they're using the website in violation of our terms of agreement. If there were no sex involved with Monty or your other sugar babies, would you still bring them around for companionship? No. That's a big attraction, you know. Monty agrees being a sugar baby does come at a cost, an emotional one. Sometimes it gets to me to know that he is my only way of income. But until that changes, this sugar baby plans to stand next to her sugar daddy. Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago.